What's going on? This is Alan Brown, AKA Bullet the Kid. And today I have a video that's been about two, almost two years in the making. I have a uh, uh, Sterling Stingray 5 bass. I was about to say a Music Man 5. This is, it feels like it now, it's just, it's just good. But this is a uh, Sterling uh, Stingray 5, a sub-series bass. And um, it's at its finished point. The only thing left to do on this would be to swap out the uh, tuners for maybe some ultralights or something like that. Um, but other than that, it's soon booted, ready to go. It's ready to get down for real now. So I've done a few upgrades to the base to make it get to this point. First of which was a pickup swap. And I went with the Aguilar AG5M pickup. It's one of my top two humbucking pickups that I've ever played with. It's been awesome. It's been completely dope. And I knew this was gonna be a good uh, pairing because the little brother of this bass turned out so well. So well, in fact, that I went with the almost same setup uh, as far as electronics and stuff like that. So what I will tell you, is on the four string version, if you swap in an Aguilar AG4M, uh, everything lines up perfect. You don't have to swap out the uh, bridge piece or anything like that. On the five string, you're gonna have to upgrade the bridge to make everything line up over the uh, pole pieces the right way. Um, I think it's 16 or 17 millimeter spacing stock and you have to go up to 18 or 19. I went big. I probably should have went 18 millimeter spacing. It would have made things a little bit more tight as far as how it's on the fretboard, but everything works out and it's like directly over the pole pieces with a 19 millimeter spacing. Just pay attention to where your center uh, bolt lines up and that's gonna help you, you know what I'm saying, uh, navigate where and how to put this bridge on. You got this bridge from eBay. It's a high mass bridge. I think I got it for maybe like 30 bucks or so. It does its job pretty well, looks pretty good, and it's a quick release. So I don't have to go through, you know, pulling it through a hole or anything like that. I just loosen it up, drop it off the side, quick release, get the swapping. Uh, that was the second thing I did. And the third thing I did, final thing I did was uh, swap in a Audair uh, four band, one pickup, uh, preamp. I love out there. They're a great company. They, their products doesn't do any um, coloring or anything like that to your sound. I have them in, I have their preamps in probably like maybe like 12 bases over the years. I just like how they get down. They're very simple, very dependable, very reliable. They won't do anything more than what you put in. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's the build. And uh, I knew this was gonna be dope because uh, it's slow, brother. So, yeah, man. Stealth Blue is in the building. So, let's get into what this bad boy actually sounds like and um, play some grooves, mess around with some, uh, you know, mids, controls, bass controls, and stuff like that. And then get into some slap and kind of see how she funks. You know what I'm saying? Now, before I get into it, I will say these are stainless steel strings that are on here right now and they are dead. So we're gonna see what the preamp can do about that. But I should have swapped the strings out. I didn't, I was lazy. But let's get into what this thing actually sounds like. Everything's flat. Let's uh, boost high mid all the way up, leave everything else flat. Okay. 
let's take low mid all the way out. Let's bring that back to the center. Uh, let's take low mid and boost that one all the way up. Let's uh, take low mid all the way out of it. Everything else is flat. Everything is back flat. Let's take treble and then uh, boost that one all the way up. Okay, let's take the treble and go all the way out. grass outside of course they would be cutting grass right outside my window right now anyway so let's get on this base put the treble back flat let's get on this base and be careful with the volume because yeah <laughs> I hope that wasn't distorted. That was a nice little groove, and I was trying not to do a whole bunch of percussive slap stuff like what that I normally do. So hopefully that was good. Um, yeah, now let's go ahead and get into one of my favorite parts of the show, slap stuff. So we have everything flat. Let's see what, what happens. Let's get this sound. Okay, 
Uh, let's take the uh, high mid and go all the way up with it. Keep everything else flat. Let's uh, let's take this low mid, go all the way up with it, and then come down on this volume a little bit. bit nasty towards the end i got a little bit happy got a little bit more uh rambunctious uh so this preamp man is boosting and cutting and it's you know i don't have headphones on to know exactly how gross it is to y'all versus what i hear out of my amp so i apologize if it's distorted at all uh let's take the treble go up with it everything else is flat yep Go to bass, put the treble back flat, boost bass, 75%. I feel like 100 is way too much. So let's go with uh, 75%. Baskin Robin. Again, bass is going to be about 75, treble is going to be all the way up, and the volume is going to be very, very relative to what these peak values are because sheesh. Okay, groove. Really nice sounding bass though. I like how it sounds all the way around and pretty much everything. It's been pretty good to me so far. Uh, just me experimenting with it. I just finished up this build maybe like, maybe like a week ago. So I haven't put that much track time on it to see what's going on. Haven't changed these strings in probably a year. That's what they sounded like with no, um, with, with 
year old strings and I think that's pretty dope like that's pretty good so uh, it's a mod that cost me right around um, maybe the pickup was maybe 110 and then the preamp itself was 114 so uh, then the the bridge was like 24 or 30 so quick math uh, around about 250 for this and then 300 for the bass so you can get the sound of a of a uh, higher end Ernie Ball Music Man bass for right around 800 bucks just north of eight well just south of 800 bucks and if the bass is 319 and then this is 250 this is like 600 plus tax odds and ends strings uh, tuners if you want to do that at 800 you know what I'm saying so it's a value if you're looking for this type of bass and you want this type of sound I would definitely check out the direction I went uh, I'll be playing some random clips uh, I have a Sunday groove that I'm gonna be using this on and we're gonna see what this thing actually does when it gets down so y'all keep your eyes open for that I thank y'all for watching for as long as you did I've been Alan Brown aka Bully the Kid till next time y'all be easy